Hello, this is Eric at the Prince George Ford Pre-Owned Supercenter, and we're taking a look at the 2016 Ford Explorer in a platinum trim and powered by a 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine, providing you with plenty of power for towing, hauling, and 4x4ing, whatever you want to do with this vehicle. Uh, and it does, of course, have four-wheel drive capabilities, so you're going to be able to get around pretty well in the changing weather conditions. But let's take a look inside. So first looking at the back, we have a nice power lift gate that opens up and out of the way for you, revealing your cargo area that is also shared with your third row seating. So you do have seats, two seats in the back for a total seating of seven in this vehicle that can be folded completely flat or up. Either way, you have a bunch of cargo space and uh, powered controls for folding your seats, which is always nice too, and a 12 volt power outlet. You do also get their own cuppies and cup holders, so that's nice too. And then it does close again with another simple press of a button. And now looking at the back seat, we have seating for three in the middle row with a nice full leather interior. In the middle, you have fold-out armrests with two cup holders. And down here, you have your rear climate controls with heated rear seats with two levels each, so your back passengers can stay cozy. And you do also have two USBs and a 110-volt power outlet there. Fitted rubber floor mats throughout the vehicle, too. Now this vehicle does also have a remote start, so no need to go outside on those cold mornings to warm up your car. And looking in, you have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks, as well as three memory buttons for your power adjustable driver seat, steering wheel, pedals, and your mirrors. And you do have fully power adjustable uh, front, or driver and front passenger seats, and they are massaging as well, so extra comfort there. Now sitting in the vehicle with it running, you can see it's sitting at 85,525 kilometers. Moving down to the steering wheel, on the right hand side you have your hands-free phone and radio controls as well as the controls to cycle through your uh, radio controls here. Where you can, or, well it's entertainment, navigation, and phone controls so that you can access all of that from there, so that's pretty nice too. And on the left side of your steering wheel, you have your cruise control with uh, distance pacing technology, so that's nice too. And the controls for your info screen on the left, where you can cycle through information for your trip one and two, as well as your fuel economy, your driver assist settings, and settings in general for features around your vehicle and your screen setup. Uh, do also have your distance to empty and digital speedometer displayed over there, so that's always nice too. To the left of the steering wheel, you have your lighting controls, your hatch release, and your tow haul mode button. Moving on to your center, your infotainment screen, which is Radio Sirius CD, USB, Bluetooth, and SD, so you do have quite a few options there for whatever you want to listen to, however you want to listen to it. In the bottom right, you have your digital climate controls with dual front climate, heated and air conditioned front seats with three levels each, and a heated steering wheel. So uh, plenty of options for maximum comfort, and you can also access your rear climate controls, so that's nice too. Um, top right, you have your navigation screen, so you're hopefully not going to get lost on your travels. And in the top left, you have your Bluetooth phone controls. Shifting into reverse, you do also have a backup camera with full 360 sensors that will alert you if you're about to hit anything, so hopefully you can avoid that. With dynamic hitch view, so you can zoom in and hopefully have an easier time hooking up a small trailer or something of the sort. Moving down from your screen though, you have uh, your physical media and climate controls here. Once again, with dual front climate, heated and air conditioned front seats. Uh, do also have your front camera view, so that's nice too for uh, certain circumstances. And your uh, parallel park assist, I believe, park out assist, and your um, rear or your park sensor shut off. Not sure why you would, but it is there. You have a Sony sound system in this vehicle, so your audio is going to sound pretty good. And then down below all of that, you have a compartment which opens up to reveal uh, USB, SD, and 12 volt power outlet so you can plug something into power charge or just hook up your audio that way then you have your main shifter with select shift you have some paddle shifters on the wheel so you can manually shift your gears you have two cup holders and your terrain selector here in the middle you have your hill descent assist but then you have your terrain selector for let's see oh there we go uh, mud rut mode sand mode and snow gravel grass mode so you can customize your driving experience a bit there depending on where you're driving of course and then you have your center compartment slash armrest which is pretty spacious does have another usb inside and then last but not least your uh, 
panoramic moonroof, which goes all the way to the back so you can land the sunshine on a nice sunny day, but that should cover our look at the interior. So now if you're interested, feel free to give us a call at 250-563-8111 or just come on down to the dealership and have a look for yourself and have a nice day.